Good morning. The day I have a doctor appointment, so stay tuned if you want to see how that goes. I just left my doctor appointment. It went pretty quickly, which I like. Um, I found out that I don't have any thyroid problems or iron problems. All of those tests came back great, so I'm happy and relieved to hear that. Um, they're saying it's just um, sluggishness, the pain, the cramps, and the sharp pains that I've been having. Come to find out, um, they um, are coming. They're 
uh, lig ligament scratching, basically, and it gets worse every time you have a pregnancy or another child. So since I had four, um, it's a lot worse now. So that's why it's a little more intense than it need to be. But otherwise, everything's good. Um, everything's coming back good. Um, my urine test's good. That's good, because I have been drinking a good bit of water. So I've been keeping my um, system clear. Um, they told me as far as the sluggishness, um, it's out normal. I can um, start eating a little more um, more leafy, leafy like foods and green foods. They said that should help with the energy boosting. They said drink a little bit more water. So I'm gonna um, try to get four bottles in of water and um, four cups, four bottles, whichever one. <laughs> Um, try to get that in. Um, so, yeah, it's pretty much going good, y'all. I thank God. Um, all my cervical length tests have been coming back good. Um, so baby is growing like she should. Um, baby girl is growing like she should. Yes, if you have watched any of my other vlogs, it's a girl. I'm having a girl my fourth girl <laughs> and I have one boy uh, mother of five woo -woo, proud to be um, and um, I'm excited I have not came up with a name yet I'm still thinking of one um, excuse me y'all I'm a little tired I woke up kind of early um, as soon as I woke up I had to get ready get cleaned up and head to the doctor because um, I, um, I'm 20 minutes away from my doctor so I had to leave right then well a little bit after I got ready I did it real quick maybe 10 minutes and um, got myself together grabbed me some muffins and a cup of orange juice uh, I thought I was going to be able to eat two muffins but y'all I'm full off that one muffin but it was a pretty thick muffin but the ingredients that I used Pretty big. And that was my first time making muffins from scratch. I was so nervous. I thought it was gonna turn out horrible, but it turned out good. Um, I like super sweet stuff. I would prefer it to be more sweeter instead of three, four cups of sugar. I'll be using one cup of sugar next time. So that was fun. Shout out the recipe, but I'm just happy to hear that my baby's gonna be fine. I've had two premature babies before, one at 34 weeks, and my last one, which was the most crucial, at 28 weeks. And I don't wanna ever have to go through that again. Um, Cause they have to be in the hospital, they have to go through all these tests. So I just imagine all the pain they're going through, needles and all these tests, and they always get pricked. And you know, they, they not home, they in a, a a little baby area you know that they're in I can't really remember incubator I think I may be saying that wrong but um just a little like a little cocoon go and see my baby and I'm so excited so excited so it's where I'm at Zariah. She's sleeping. You can see her. Plastic full of different devices hooked to them and been there by themselves a lot of times. They do come get them, that, you know, every so often feed them. Some of them get well. Some of them get fed through a tube too, so and you can't really hold them at first like that, especially when they're real small. You have to wait until they're big enough to be out of that little cocoon that they're in that keeps them warm. Their body temperatures a lot of time don't be uh, where it need to be for them to come outside of that area. So they have to stay in there for a certain amount of time until their bodies are ready. And then time you just can't hold them and it's hard not to hold your baby and be close to your baby because they actually need to be held um, during that time like skin to skin like it's really important it's important for them as far as growth and development 
and um, all that good stuff and just to bond with the child um, so they can feel loved and appreciated like they are you know and you can't do that a lot of times when they're premature so I'll try my best to do everything I can to make sure that don't happen this time um, they haven't started me on the shot which is good because usually they start me early um, I guess based off of what they found out everything's going good um, I do need to do a little better though I have been slack on taking my prenatal I, I take them when I think about them but I have to take them in the morning um, at first I wasn't taking in my first um, trimester because um, they was making me nauseous you know and I, and I didn't really like that feeling um, but now that I'm in my second trimester I um, feel a whole lot better um, so I can take them now. Um, so I have to make sure I take those, drink four cups of water every day, or more, however many I can handle. <laughs> and um, oh, I'm gonna start stretching a little more. She said that would help with the pain. And I'm gonna um, get me some more leafy green stuff. Um, we have been making the sandwiches and stuff a lot, but the good thing is I did make a, a, a grocery order. So I'll be picking that up today around three. My husband, or either me, one of us, will be picking it up. And there's some spinach in there. And um, I can make me, um, make sure I make a salad of spinach every day. And um, eat a, my sandwich with spinach on it um, instead of lettuce that we bought. Um, so I'll make sure I do that. Um, get me some green in. And I'll figure out some more ways to get some green in. I have to look up some recipes and find out a way I can get some more leafy green things in my body. Um, I do like that um, green drink, smoothie drink at um, Walmart. It's really, really good. I really enjoy that, but uh, I'm going to see if I'll be able to get it. Because um, that's out of my budget. I already budgeted the groceries and everything, and we got that on this way, so we'll see. But well, I'm gonna make do with what I have right now, so I'm gonna make sure I eat my spinach. Um, and I also usually put spinach in my eggs as well, so that's stuff that I'm gonna continue doing. Um, but we had ran out of spinach. Usually, I have spinach in my eggs every day. And then we have spinach on our sandwiches, but we ran out and we finally went to the grocery store <laughs> due to the cold weather and everything. So we finally went and um, we um, will definitely incorporate spinach back into our eggs every morning. If you've been watching my vlogs, you know, you know I love to put spinach in my eggs every morning. And it tastes good and it's good for you. So I always try to incorporate things that's good for my babies like um sometimes we'll put broccoli in our eggs you know it's just like an almond you put whatever veggie you want to put in there um i've been wanting to try bell peppers in my egg i haven't tried that yet but i love bell pepper that's one recipe i want to try so i'll probably be getting a bell pepper pretty soon and trying that out i'm pretty sure it's delicious it looks so good every time i see something with it it just looks so good but um I'm excited though. I plan on letting my kids, I don't think I ever let them try it yet, but I'm, I plan on making an omelet for them with um, ham, cheese, and um, ham and cheese omelet with spinach. And then I want to make them, um, I always want to try a taco um, omelet. I want them to try that and I also want them to try the bell pepper omelet. Just to see if they'll eat it because they haven't tried those and those are some more healthy options for them to try. Um, as far as the bell peppers and stuff. So, yeah, y'all. Um, everything's going good. I'm kind of rambling, but it's, it's definitely related because I definitely have to make sure I keep eating healthy in order to make sure my baby is full term, keep drinking my water. I made sure, now I know that was one thing I dealt with um, my first couple of friends was dehydration because I didn't drink enough water. So, I'm making sure I get as much water in as I can and I always I got I also ordered on my grocery list some flavored packets which are some of my favorites which is the Starburst brand really tasty and it's only a few calories so uh, and the kids love that brand too so I make sure they get their water in by making sure they like it they drink it plain water they drink plain water sometimes but most times they like it with the flavor so do I 
I don't blame them. Um, so yeah, and, I, and it's weird because I really don't like juice like that. I like um, I like cranberry apple, cranberry grape. I like cranberry grape. That's pretty much it. I like pomegranate and another flavor mixed together. But it has to have something with it. And I also like um, orange juice. That's pretty much it. An orange, pineapple, something like that. Um, I love drinks like that. And I also like smoothies. I really don't like any other juices like that. I just don't like them. Um, but I drink them anyway. Um, especially the V8 brand. My husband tried to get those a lot. Because they're infused with veggies and fruit. A whole bunch of them. So we try to make sure we get the V8 most times. And apple juice. Because we know apple juice are good for the children. And they love it. So we make sure we get that. Um, as far as I go, I make sure I get some orange juice every day. I make sure I get my water in every day. And um, and I get my coffee in every day. Um, well, I try to get my coffee in every day. Sometimes I slip with the coffee. I got to do better with the coffee. But, um, yeah, y'all. Oh, and I got some cereal on my order, too, y'all. That is one thing I love. So I always try to get that in and then I get my milk in. So I try to um, get all kind of good stuff in my body, you know, um, as far as to keep the baby okay, you know, keep my baby safe. But yeah, y'all, I'm headed home. I will show y'all um, my belly progress and um, we'll talk a little bit more. Um, I went home and I did my research and um, I looked up leafy green vegetables and um, I decided I'm going to go with the I really don't like kale, but I'll look into maybe adding it to a smoothie or something because the taste is just not for me. Uh, it also said that we could do mustard green, which is also not for me, so I'll probably put that into some kind of, I'll incorporate that some kind of way. It said also to do collards, okay, tell daddy to kiss your juice, collards, cabbage, those are the two that I really love, and spinach. So I'll make sure I get all those in. Uh, they also said arugula. I don't know. I'll see how that goes. I also looked at green food as well. So uh, I'm going to start eating more bell peppers, broccoli. Um, yeah. And um, also, I also looked up, you know, all the good fruits to eat. And pretty much the ones I've been eating are good, like apples, oranges. I used to get blueberries, strawberries. Um, we also get that variety fruit sometimes, like watermelon, um, cantaloupe, um, and stuff like that. So I'm gonna make sure I keep eating my fruit. Uh, I prefer all in a smoothie because I'm really not a fruit eater unless it's like, yeah, I'm really not a fruit eater, but I eat it anyway just to make sure I get it into my system for the baby and for health reasons, you know. So I'll make sure I get it in, but that's what I did. I came home and I researched, so I'm going to have to start incorporating all that into my meal. So I have some plans, like with my eggs, I'm going to keep doing the spinach, and then every now and then I'm going to add a bell pepper to get that in my system. Um, I have never heard of people put kale in their eggs, but I may do that too. Um, and also when I eat my salads, I can throw some arugula in there. Um, in spinach whenever I eat it um, get that in there um, avocados is another um, fruit that I found was really good so I'm going to make sure I start back incorporating that into my uh, meal plan uh, I love avocados anyway I usually um, eat guacamole stuff with everything um, I never tried on a sandwich but I plan on it I want to um, I have tried it in a Mexican bowl which I want to start making at home um, so I'm, I'm definitely going to start doing that. They're really good. Um, I'm going to start uh, preparing collards and cabbage once a week, which is very affordable. So that's always a plus. And cabbage only takes a few minutes to cook. And collards, I can throw that in the crock pot, so that would be easy for me. Um, so I'll start doing that. Um, spinach again, I'm going to put in my eggs and on my salad. And in my smoothies, uh, I'm going to try my best to get all those veggies. Uh, as far as broccoli and stuff like that. 
Um, I eat that cold a lot of times as a snack, dipping it in the ranch. I eat that with um, cauliflower most times. But um, yeah, so that's my new plan. I'm gonna try to um, incorporate all those good things into my new meal plan. So that concludes my video. Stay tuned for more pregnancy vlogs. Hope you enjoyed.